A new lunch policy in a Minnesota school district is getting some pushback. Last month, the Stewartville School Board approved a rule aimed at curbing student lunch debt. The new policy reportedly instructed cafeteria workers to dump out a student's hot lunch if they had a negative balance and replace it with a sandwich instead. WCCO's John Lordson shows us how one parent is trying to help the school get paid and students get fed. You know, there's already a lot of hard things that you have to do in school, socially and academically. That's not something that kids should have to worry about. But Megan Romans also understands that it's yeah. troubling for a school district to face a $10,000 lunch debt. Instead of pointing fingers, she's trying to point people towards a solution. We are just shy of 3000 so we're at 2985 As the parent of a Stewartville student, Megan's appetite for answers led to her creating a GoFundMe page for families not able to afford school lunch. A new policy means hot food is replaced with an alternative lunch for any student with a negative balance. I believe that the main course is um, taken back and they are given a sandwich. They still get to keep their sides. The Stewartville School's website states that the district is reviewing our procedures to ensure that all students are treated with dignity and respect in regard to our school lunch policy. Superintendent Belinda Selfer said that the policy does not provide for the pulling of trays from students. I have not the issue led to a press conference at the Capitol this morning, centered around what some are calling school lunch shaming. We continue to be concerned as these stories roll out. Megan Romans doesn't want to label it. She just wants a solution for everyone. This could be your little girl's best friend that's not getting the same lunch as her other friends, or it could be, you know, a lot of families, this might be the only good meal that their kids get every day. In a statement, Superintendent Selfers went on to say that no child is turned away from receiving a school lunch. Now, Representative Sarah Anderson, who authored legislation to keep schools from shaming students who lack school lunch money, said today that she's disappointed to hear about this. She said it's possible funding could be withheld from districts who demean students that can't pay for school lunch. Mm -hmm. Again, this is not just a Stewartville issue. We're hearing about this in other places as well, but they'll look at possibly tightening up some legislation, some laws to try and prevent things from happening. All right. Thank you, John.